Good morning. This is Joyce. Hi, this is Saturday. And it is time for another Saturday morning challenge of friends. We have been missing for a few weeks. Uh, but Shantae and I are now back. And this is the first one, like I said, in a couple, in a few weeks. But I am happy to be back. And the ladies, um, Markeisha and Felicia, will be joining us this week. And I hope you like our projects. Uh, this week, our challenge was, uh, Shantae and I were talking, when, you know, and I was saying, oh, you know, I got all these dolls, and I bought them, I used them once or twice, and I haven't used them, you know. So part of our challenge is to use product that we have not used, product that we bought and just bought it, never been open, uh, tools that we haven't used to make things that we aren't that good at. You know, it's to challenge ourselves to be creative with what we have. So I've got 10 dolls. And like I said, I've probably used three or four of them, and that was when I first got them. Um, and I did a tag swap then, and so I used different ones. But, you know, they're just hanging there on the wall. So that's our challenge for today. It, you could do any project, but it had to have a uh, Prima Doll on it. And my project today is for an album... Well, it, start, it started off being an insert for a larger mini album. And I got the idea from a young lady on YouTube. And I will put a link to her channel in the box below. Uh, but I took it and I made it for Christmas a couple years ago. And actually made it where it could be used as a separate album. Uh, and I made an insert, you know. But anyway... That is what I made for my project, and this is what it looks like. The papers that I use are from DCWV, and it is from the collage stack. And what I liked about these papers was it looked like somebody actually art journaled on them. Let's see if I can show you some of the pages. See, that one is kind of plain, and then, but that, how cute is that? And I use this for her dress. Uh, I cut a piece of that. And the texture, the feel is awesome. I love the papers. I'm actually going to do another one using these same papers because I love them. And now I wish I could find another pad because I really believe that I will use this up. Gorgeous papers. And this is just a few, the only, only a few of the scraps I have left. I have the piece from the dress one I used on her dress. How cute is that? This would make a great cover. Um, two sheets of each design. This is what's on my cover. Love that. It just looks like somebody just took and brushed, stroked, and made paint, you know. And this I used within my book. This one. Not that. And that's where I took the dress from. And pockets. How cute is that? It's got stamping, it's got stencils, it's got glitter, it's got just all all of the elements that we use when we do our journaling and mixed media. I love this paper. I didn't use that. That is so cute. That could be a cover. So that is the paper that I used. If you don't have it, I think you will love it. I do, and I will definitely be looking for another pack. I don't usually buy double packs, but I will buy from that. This is my album. As you can see, I showed you that page there. And the only thing I'd used different was I added this um, heart, this double stacked heart. And it came from this package, which I got on clearance, like 80% off at Hobby Lobby. Uh, I colored my doll with... Um, Copic markers, and I'm going to post this on my blog, so I will have all the all of the details there. But I love her. I took after cutting her, stamping her dress, and cutting it out from that sheet I showed you. 
I took Wink of Stella Clear and went over it and then I kind of went around the edges to make it just a little darker. I just love it. And her shoes, um, I just Wink of Stella them just so they would glitter. You know, she's all dressed up. I love this album. This pink ribbon, which I use for my tie, is from my stash. I don't use enough ribbon, so that is from there. Let me see if I can take this up. There you go. And so when you open it, here is what you see. Now, isn't that cute? I did nothing else to these pages. So on the right side of the book, there are five pages. So I use magnets to so that they will stay down. Lots of room for photos. You saw this page in the uh, book. Both of these come from the same sheet. I cut the banner from one of the cutouts. There are cutouts there. I don't think you saw those. And then these pages, like I said, I'm you know with me doing um, Project Life, I can make my pictures smaller now, so I can really add more photos to this. So that's page one, two, three, four, and then that's five. And then when you come to the left side, I have made two pockets. So this is pocket one. All of this is my scrap paper and from the cutouts. That's one of the cutouts. And then you can do journaling on that side. A photo mat. More journaling or another photo mat and journaling. That is a cutout. Happiness is time with you. So that is a cutout. And then you can add more photos here. Uh, this was one of the cutouts, so there's a journaling spot because even though you got a pocket, you can put a photo there. So then the pocket, the fl it flips up. And then there you have another one of the cutouts. I think that needs a little more adhesive. And so a photo can go here. And then there's another pocket. So you could add a photo or not. And then you have this one. You can put journaling photo. You could either do journaling on one side and a photo or fo photos on both sides. That's up to whoever gets it. And then there's this one. So this one, like I said, if I do two three by four photos or three, cut it down to three by three, you could put two photos and two photos on that. So, I mean, I love it. I hope you like it. I, I, I love it because it lays flat. You notice I didn't do any embellishing because I think that the paper speaks for itself, which is why I love papers like this. It's just that they are super gorgeous. You don't need a lot of embellishing, you know, and I don't like things that sit open like that. I don't like I mean, I think they're pretty, but I want mine to lay flat. Just see how flat that lays? And it will hold a lot of photos. And I think even after the photos are put in, it will still lay pretty flat. Just tie it off. Add a little bow. You know, I'm not good with bows, but how cute. And along this side, I used a piece of trim from the $1.50 bin at Michael's. It's some of the last trims that they had. It came on a little sheet that was like 12 inches long and maybe 3 or 4 inches wide. And it had about 5 pieces, different designs on it. So I thought that would be great on my thing. I inked my edges with this Victorian Velvet. I love that one. And I, th I think it really went well with it. So that is the back. I'm just going to stamp my information here. And that is my project for this week. Thank you all for joining us for um, Saturday Morning with Friends. And go by and check out Shantae, who is Shantana on YouTube. Markeisha, who is Staple of One. And Felicia, and Felicia Hurt is her name. So, but there will be links in the bottom to the ladies, and there will also be a link to the lady where I originally saw this project. 
So thanks for watching, everybody. Hi to all of my subscribers. Thank you. I appreciate your uh, watching my videos and leaving those wonderful comments. And I will see you soon with another video. Bye.